We are in Skagway and today we are going up the Klondike Highway. Today we are going up the Klondike Highway. This is the Jeep we rented. There's a shuttle to the main entrance. And then there's another shuttle that you can grab right there. And it's a couple bucks, it'll take you into town. Or you can walk to the uh, rental company run by Avis. So we're going up the Klondike Highway and stay tuned. The majority of visitors to Skagway, over 1 million per year, arrive by cruise ship for a day in port. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. corner of this street, which is 2nd and State, there is the rental company, Jeeps from Avis. So we're at the outskirts of Skagway and the Canadian border is 20 miles away. Skagway is one of the few inside passage communities accessible by road via the Klondike Highway, which crosses the U.S.-Canadian border into the Yukon Territory. We're about five miles away from the port, and this is the first uh, lookout point towards the mountains. Some of these tops still have snow. So we are definitely going to see some more snow, but there's a lot of melting snow, and you can see on these rocks some just water sprinkling. The Klondike Highway is kept open year-round. It rises from 33 feet above sea level in Skagway to 3,292 feet at the summit border, U.S.-Canada. On our Klondike Highway excursion drive from Skagway to White Pass Summit, the climate changed in a matter of minutes from coastal cold to frigid and from hardly sunny to snowy. This is a great part about coming in May. If you like the snow, if you like the cold, if you like the rain, this is it right here. Still snowing kind of lightly, but we are on our, our excursion on that beautiful orange sheep we rented from Mavis and Skyway. It's cold, but this is the way we like it. We've been here before, the first cruise of the first season, a few years ago, so this is what we wanted to experience again. We are at the border of the United States and Canada.
Well, we're having a great time. It's still snowing. And this is just great. For the next five miles, we did not make any stops. The Alaska Department of Transportation Avalanche Control Program keeps the Klondike Highway open during winter. Avalanches happen when a load of heavier snow falls on a weaker layer of pre-existing snow that can support it. A gust of wind or vibrations of a passing vehicle at times is enough for the movement of snow to begin and trigger an avalanche. So we finally made it into Yukon and this is the Yukon suspension bridge. We are in Yukon and we are at the Yukon side. Columbia. Weather cleared up as we approached the summit once again. The views were more spectacular now that the sun was out. States. So we just crossed the uh, U.S. Customs port of entry, and all they asked for were our U.S. passports. We did tell them uh, that we came into Skagway from uh, on a cruise ship. It was pretty easy going back and forth. We had a great time. We just crossed the U.S. port of entry and from this vantage point we can see two cruise ships. One of them being Carnival Splendor and the other one the Royal Princess. So this is the uh, Abe's Renner car on State and 2nd Avenue. So we're gonna go over here to downtown Skagway, buy some sewing ears, and head back on the ship.
This is an alternate walk from Skagway back to the port. It's very colorful in scenery as you make your way back onto the cruise ship. The cruise ship arrived at 7 a.m. Plenty of time for breakfast and picking up the jeep. Our excursion was from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. All aboard at 7 p.m.